Haven't you heard? There's a strange Welcome back! Uh, this is the Holy Liar! You managed to retrieve it! The pattern of flowing wind carved on the rosewood, and the strings still feel cool to the touch, too! Ah, uh, the memories. What do you think, Venti? Can you summon Devalin? Mm, although this liar is the real thing, I doubt that it's going to work. As you can see, the liar has been through a thousand years of history. Its animal power has run dry. In this condition, you couldn't play music fit for even Diluc's tavern with it. Bards fight to get on the stage of my tavern. Don't make assumptions. Is that really important right now, Master Diluc? And you! Did you just borrow the Holy Liar to play music for drunkards to hear? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> anyway, we won't be able to call Devalin with it. The lyre itself is fine, but the strings... You're up, Outlander. Relax, it's not broken. It's just that the intensity of its animal power has greatly diminished. Do you still have Devalin's teardrop crystal with you? Great! Try to use it on the Holy Lyre! It worked as expected. This youthful glow. Praising yourself? Really? I was talking about the Holy Liar. Thanks to our traveler friend having purified the crystal, the Holy Liar won't continue to lose power. That said, its power is far from replenished. It'd be great if we could get more tears. How can we gather more? I can surmise that Devalin will already be crying. Suffering alone in some deserted place. <sighs> Devalin. Poor baby. This is not something that an honorary knight can accomplish alone. I will mobilize the rest of the knights to assist. When you get the teardrop crystal, please let our honorary knight perform the purification process. Heroes supporting each other and setting out on a journey together. How exciting! Let me come up with a song for you! Is that all you're going to do? Just sing? Hmm, wouldn't be much of a bard if I didn't, now would I? Huh, <laughs> you're so cheeky. You deserve an ugly nickname. Oh, Paimon knows. From now on, you'll be known as Tone Deaf Bard. This search reminds me of a feud I once had with the Fatui. Six months ago, a thief stole treasure from the East Temple of the Four Winds. Whoa, what was it? A cup used by Barbados? No. Although, if such a thing existed, it would be very valuable. Among all the relics they managed to dig up, one particular object was very rare. It was a vial which contained the Animo God's breath. Relics come in every shape and form, huh? Anyone with an eye for fine art would like to add this relic to their collection. Once word got out, the Fatui started trying to seek it out as well. They've made tons of counterfeits that can be found everywhere. In response, I just bought everyone I could find, irrespective of its authenticity. We're still at it now. Can't give up. I've bought more than 2,000 fakes to date, and the Fatui are yet to find the real one. Whoa, you guys are insane. So it means the real one must be out there somewhere on the black market, right? Hmm. Paimon will give you a discount on them if she finds any, because Paimon's just great like that. Sure, you can try to find the real one. I'll take what you find, even if they're fake. Once you're done, find me at the winery. I'll trade you a beer for every 20 you find.
for a little shock. As knights, we are taught to hone our investigative skills. Wow! Very impressive. In my experience, the secret to finding what you are looking for is to never look for it in the first place. Don't think too much about it and don't search too hard. And before you know it, what you're looking for will appear right before your very eyes. What? Don't worry about it too much. The more flustered you become, the less likely you are to find it. Pay attention to what you see in your peripheral vision and you might just stumble upon what you're looking for. I don't know. It doesn't sound like that would work. No, seriously, it does though. In fact, it's how I used to find my tortoise whenever he went missing. Wait, you had a pet tortoise? Yes, why? Something wrong, Paimon? No, it's, uh, well, just surprising is all. Why? Paimon can't imagine Jean having a pet tortoise. Surely you find it hard to imagine too, Master Diluc. No, I don't. I had one too when I was a kid. What's so strange about it? What? You too? <laughs>
a naughty boy. Closer. You've been a naughty boy. will be frozen in time. Ah! <laughs> 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 
Too early to relax. We're still not done with Storm Terror. Besides, the Fatui could also be planning something. Hey, Diluc. I heard that the Fatui have recently proclaimed you persona non grata. <laughs> what an honor. Nobody was ever proclaimed persona grata by the Fatui anyway. The Fatui? The diplomatic delegation from Sneznaya? What have they got against Master Diluc? The Fatui are a problem not only for the Knights, they also present a real threat to the whole of Mondstadt. And when it comes to threats against Mondstadt, Diluc is... <sighs> That's enough, Jean. You Knights are subject to too many restrictions. You can't directly confront this so-called diplomatic scum. Personally? <laughs> I despise them. If I were to choose between eating a cryo slime alive or joining the Fatui, I'd prefer to be crushed to death by a meteorite. Jeez, your wording is so very dramatic.
crystals together. Oh, the color of these crystals looks muddy. <sighs> Tavalin, you're going through so much pain. Let's start purifying these crystals first. Please, Traveler. It is hard to believe such a thing is possible until you've seen it with your own eyes. Interesting. It's like filtering wine. The process is... Refreshing. I think we should have enough tears now. So next we... Use the crystals on the Holy Liar like last time. It worked! It seems completely different from before. The liar's animal power seems fully restored. We should be able to use it now. It's all thanks to you. Now, where should we summon Storm Terror? It must be away from the city, else there will be casualties should we fail. Perhaps here at the winery? If the winery was destroyed, it's not something I couldn't eventually fix. But I'd still rather not go through the hassle. The wind that blows at sea or in high places should be able to carry a bard's words far away. It's never going to work if the air is too dry or suffocating. Paimon understands. Sea or high places, right? Then the best location to play the lyre would be... If you go east from Starfell Lake, there are mountains south of the beach. Oh, you mean that beach we were on when you told Paimon about your sister? If you head to where the cliff juts out, that place is known as Star Snatch Cliff. What do you think, Bard? Meets the requirements, no? Let me think. Star Snatch Cliff. All right, let's do it there. Very well. Then let's meet at Star Snatch Cliff when we're ready. Please don't be late. 
<laughs> yes, ma'am! Uh, sorry. I didn't mean to... Everyone is finally here. What a view! Lovely for a faded reunion, isn't it? Well, we must be prepared for a fight. Regardless of the outcome, things finally seem to be taking a turn for the better. Mondstadt has really been going through so much recently. Huh. In the end, the solution to our problem was as simple as a traveler in a song. I suppose the Knights of Favonius may have played a part in it too. Oh, we get it, Master D. Luke. Everyone, please step aside. I, the best wandering bard of the mortal world, shall begin my performance with the Holy Liar. that speaks of your yearning for this song. They are... communicating. Huh? No! Don't just fart! Do not be fooled by him, dear dragon. He loves you to rot alone. Now, he attempts to deceive you once more. Our Beatles! Let your wrath Mondstadt has already turned its back on you! You! You were planning this all along to have me slain on them! No! Listen to me! The time has come for the dragon to serve its true master! <laughs> While you bewail your pragmatic shadows, watch the world tremble with fear! Devalin. Barbe, Venti, please be careful. <laughs> You've known my true identity for some time now, haven't you, Jean? 
Though, I thank you for continuing to use the name Venti. How's the Holy Lyre? Can it still be played, or does it need to be repaired? <sighs> Unfortunately, I think it's beyond repair. No. We should make that Abyss Mage pay first. If we don't fight the evil at its source, then we can't save Dvalin at all. In which case, I shall call upon Outrider Amber to track it down. No need. Why is that? I eradicated one not long ago, in one of the Four Winds temples. What? When? If you want to track those monsters down, then I'll seek answers from my contacts. I've got other means for getting the job done. <sighs> Diluc. Though he dislikes the Knights of Favonius, he protects Mondstadt in his own way. Oh? Why does our little Paimon sound so doting all of a sudden? <laughs> Wait for my word. I'll be sure to let the Abyss Order know that their blatant disregard for Mondstadt will not go unpunished. Thanks to this world, we shall revel in its glory.